Guys will, only guys will ever mention that. Like a girl might think that and act like that she thinks that, and then usually I'm like, well, you know, like I'm a dude. Uh, but but guys will like guys will flirt with you, um, and that you know, flattered, but uh, no, thank you. Um, and they'll still flirt. <laughs> I had a customer last winter. Somebody called me. Uh, I don't know if off twenty second mm -hmm. off of uh, Summit View or Lincoln. Summit View, and. It's this, it's this ultimately gay dude. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually thought about vignettes here. <laughs> because, uh, <laughs> so it's those vintage years of houses, probably, I don't know, 50s, mm -hmm. 60s, you know, something. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and he had a roommate that lived downstairs, and the equipment's downstairs. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I go down to look at it, and she's got this, the, just a big, know, a little bigger, bigger than this whole thing. And uh, there's a bed over there and a dresser with mirrors mm -hmm. and stuff. And she had tons and tons of little fucking... I, I don't even look at things anymore. But these little glass... I don't know if they were glass or what. But all Baby kinds bees? of odds and ends. Yeah, knickknacks and shit. Knickknacks. And it was like... It was unending. That's if my you, customer. You start looking <laughs> this way and go this way. Uh -huh. It's like... And then you go, what did you see? And I go... Lots of things, <laughs> knickknacks. I don't know. There was a glass mm -hmm. thing. There was, a, but uh, anyway. Yeah, that's my target customer. So she lived downstairs, and, and she had I don't know, what would you call it? New World, uh, whatever, uh, One World shit. You know, mm -hmm. A little bit of that stuff in there. And then this guy starts hitting on me, <laughs> and he's gay, mm -hmm. and he's he's gonna pay cash, and he's he works he's at, works at the hospital or something. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to chat and chat and chat. And like I said, I don't even see stuff in Where people's do I houses. Find? Where's my equipment? <laughs> no, no. It's like, I'll see when I can get you on the schedule. Will this work? Okay, mm -hmm. we'll install it. And uh, give me 50% down. Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was I talking about him? But anyway, uh, yeah, gay guy. Uh, yeah. yeah. I was saying, like, I, like the women no, never it, thought I was gay. Or if they did... No, I am just talking. But yeah, no, it's it's. Well, you work in an antique shop. Like some people expect that. Um, of course, and some are. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are. Several of my dealers were gay, uh, and like I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Um, and but some of the customers. Give me that green stuff. Man. Some of the well, it's not about that. It's like, no, I know. Well, I mean, ultimately, from Lori's perspective, and that's where I was really good. I would shave dollars all over the place. Um, like someone's, you know, it's marked 350. You should try a piece with this oh, on it. It didn't get hot. And, uh, it, it isn't, no, uh, this is delicious. I need to cook it for a while, do this for a while, because it should, it could be a lot better. Well, I, no, it's really firm. Uh, the one we do next time will be better. Which I like. But anyways, I, f I found the guys to be way more upfront and aggressive. Yeah, about that's what I was kind of trying to say about that guy. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, this guy's like, <laughs> I got a piece of bone. Well, I don't know. I can pretty much handle any situation. Uh, like, I wish I could handle it when the we lady tried to return the, the fucking $2,500 no, no, belt. Like, that lady would have left with that belt if I was working. Uh oh. We got to start a cat fight out here. Yeah, he did start it, actually. That's why I, like, ignore him, pretty much, because... What if I didn't catch the fish? Huh? Well, I started because I caught the fish. Well, yeah. They know the barbecue's going out here. No, uh, because other ones. people fed him a lot. The lady across the way was... I spent some time with that cat, and I'm sure she was watching. Uh, and then she came out and like threw some treats and drew, drew the a The old lady cat. sitting down there? No, with the nice thing across the way. Oh, yeah. She she loves to talk. I mean, I, I, I can go out. It's like a mom. Well, she, she my mom. <laughs> like, she was competing with me. Uh, she's like, well, look at all the cats I can get with this cat food. What she's trying to get you to do is come over and talk with her for a minute. Uh, I'm happy know. to do that. No, no. I, <laughs> I'm just, yeah, that, yeah, that's how she is. And then everything in the world comes out in like a, you know, oh yeah, those customers less than sixty seconds. <laughs> and, uh, if you're talking about the silent treatment it, in sales, like sometimes like occasionally I'd work with Lori. You want water? Do you want? Uh, I'm fine. I'll take that Gatorade right there. Uh, 
or a customer would come in and my coworker stuck with them and I know the drill. And rather than just sit there and let them suffer, I'll go around the corner and then I'll, I'll call their cell phone. And just be like, like, hey, play it cool. This is James from blah, blah, blah. Uh, you have to take this call. And they're like, oh, hi, James from blah, blah, blah. Excuse me, I have to take this call. And like, you know, you can't, you can't quantify that on a... <laughs> and usually they're just like, oh my God, thank you. Because some customers, like, you know, some old ladies, will, they just come in to talk. Yeah, they, that's what that lady wants. Mm -hmm. She wants to talk. And if she can get your attention to come over there well, anyway. Well, she attracted more cats than I did. I just gave respect and, you know, did my thing. Some of the yeah, cats came no, out of her thing, It's though. all cool. I, you know, I like to go over there and say hi once in a while. Mm -hmm. The other guy that lived here, he'd have problems from time to time. and a big bird. I'd go over there and uh, the, the old guy would go over there, Jim, I think his name is. And uh, just watch, you know, mm -hmm. doing the wiring, because this shit all have to do here at some point, you know. Mm -hmm. the... Well, it's like, I wouldn't, I try not to have a cigarette on the stairs, or right downstairs some days, especially at like work time. In fact, I, yeah. I would smoke less on my days off because I wouldn't want to go down there sometimes, because I'm going to have to move some furniture, or I'm going to have to talk to Matt, or I'm going to have to talk to like Lori, or one of like 18 people.